Solenoid under current load. Inner radius, R1, 5 millimeters. Outer radius, R2, 10 millimeters. Current density, 4 times 10 to the 6 amperes per meter squared. Coil Young modulus, 1.075 times 10 to the 11 newtons per meter squared. Coil Poisson ratio, 0 0.33. Calculate the stress distribution. To simulate the problem, you should specify the problem parameters, define the geometric model, provide material data and boundary conditions, solve the problem and analyze results. Specifying the problem parameters. To create a new problem, press New button and choose Quick Field Problem. Specify the problem name and destination folder. The first part of this coupled problem is of the magnetostatic type. The solenoid has axial symmetry, so axiosymmetric model class is selected. Specify the geometry and data file names. Proper length units should be selected. Solenoid has rotation symmetry, that's why polar coordinates are more appropriate. The problem description is finished. We have specified problem type, length units, and model class. Now we can define a geometric model. Press Edit Geometry button to open the model file. It is more convenient to set the value of grid spacing to 0.5 centimeters. Do it under the Edit menu and select Grid Settings. Type in the grid cell size here. Switch to Insert mode to build the model. Define the model geometry using direct lines and arc primitives of the model editor. After the model geometry is defined, the mesh should be built. Providing materials, data, and boundary conditions. Labels assigned to the geometric objects describe material properties, sources, and boundary conditions. To assign a label, right-click the object and choose Properties. Type in the label name here. Labels are listed in the problem tree for every object group. Double-clicking the label in the tree invokes the corresponding properties dialog. Relative permeability of air is 1. Relative permeability of coil is 1. Field source for this model can be described by entering the current density value. A zero flux condition is specified for the outer label. The natural boundary condition at the symmetry edges corresponds to the field symmetry in this model. Having finished with labels properties description, we can solve the problem and analyze the solution. Press solve problem button to solve the magnetic part of this coupled problem. After magnetic problem is solved, we can proceed with the stress analysis part. Specify the problem name and destination folder. The second part of the problem can be calculated with stress analysis module. The solenoid has axial symmetry, so axisymmetric model class is selected. Please note that the coupled problems share the same geometric model. We specify the same settings for the geometry as in the magnetic problem. To set the problem coupling, right-click over the problem name and choose Problem Properties. Switch to Links tab. Choose the link type and type in the source problem name. The link is added to data sources now. 
The linked problem is shown in the tree. Both problems share the same geometry model, so we have to specify label properties only. Providing materials data and boundary conditions. We do not calculate stress in the air, so do not enter any values. Just open the properties dialog and click OK. Now this unused label is marked with an exclamation sign in the problem tree. Type in Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio values for coil. The outer edge default properties represents the natural boundary condition. Do not enter any values. At the symmetry edge, the Z displacement is zero. The stress simulation part of the coupled problem is fully defined and may be solved as well. Now we have got the stress distribution.